Greetings my friends. Here in my island nation home of Australia, the autumn winter season has officially come to a close and the summertime is upon us. As someone who prefers to live in the balmy summertime climate, but prefers to dress for the autumn winter season, this can be a particularly confusing time. And so I'm going to cling on to those dreamy autumn winter wardrobe thoughts for a little bit longer and share with you the items that draped my body the most during the colder season. These are the staples in my wardrobe and my favorites. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe too. It's such a boost considering I'm such a tiny creator both in subscriber numbers and in stature. Now, in reflecting on what's on this rack, I have to pay myself the kudos that I deserve because I really feel like I've got my shoes together considering how beautifully simple but the amazing quality of all of the pieces that are adorning this rack. And in preparing for this video, this has actually been a really helpful exercise for me too, to hone in on what I've been gravitating towards and reflect on the items that I've reached for the most during this cold winter season. And so this video of reflection will be broken down into the various clothing categories and I will be sharing with you the most worn items within each clothing category. Starting off with knitwear, and if you read my blog and have been following along with my YouTube for a while, then this will come as no surprise to you. The jumper of dreams is my Cezanne Leontine knit. This is one that I have relied on so much during the autumn winter season. Now I fished this one out of the washing basket just to share with you. And so I present to you my dirty body odored jumper of dreams. This is a jumper that I picked up over a year ago now. And I really love the simplicity of it. The fact that it's amazing quality. It's a beautiful cut. I feature this in various Cezanne videos that I have shared previously on my channel. And so at the risk of repeating myself, I will just keep this short and sharp so I can get through all of the items on this rack but this has been one of my most worn items during the colder season and in what might be considered somewhat of a betrayal of my Cezanne Leontine knit I present to you another striped knit of dreams and that is my Arquette striped knit. Now hold that thought I know what you might be thinking Virginia they're exactly the same but I assure you they are not. The Arquette Stripe Knit I consider as my more dressy or work appropriate stripe knit, whereas my Cezanne Leon Tie Knit has more of a casual feel. This is more of a Monday to Thursday situation, whereas this is more of a Friday to Sunday situation. Assuming that you enjoy a casual Friday dress code in the office, otherwise a Saturday to Sunday situation. I would say that this is probably the more versatile jumper out of the two because you can also wear this one on the weekends. But I like to rotate between my stripes and have a little bit of variety. There is a place for both of these in my wardrobe and both of these have draped my body many a time during the colder season. Now the next knitwear style that I wanted to share with you and the most worn item during the autumn winter season for me are these merino long sleeve tops and these are from Arquette. Now I've actually just posted up a comprehensive Arquette review where I have a whole section dedicated to these tops. This style top I now have in four different colorways that just goes to show how much I love it. And if you didn't get a chance to watch that video then basically in a nutshell these tops make amazing layering pieces under jackets or blazers but they also look great on their own. They're very thin and lightweight but they're incredibly warm and it's quite a fitted and flattering fit on my body as well. This forms part of Arquette's permanent line and they are constantly released in new colours every season. I highly recommend that you grab yourself one or four like me. These are amazing. Moving on to the next category and I'm going to be sharing with you my most worn tops from the autumn winter season. Starting with this boxy Oxford shirt here from Everlane. Now again, if you are familiar with my blog and also my YouTube channel, I have featured this a lot. I've worn this a lot in various videos as well. I really love the cut of this. I think it's incredibly flattering, particularly if you're petite like me. This is the ultimate smart casual shirt and has proven to be incredibly versatile. I always throw this one on whenever I'm working from home. It looks great with trackies if I say so myself. This is a shirt that I don't tuck in. I wouldn't recommend that you tuck it in either thanks to the oversized cut. And the material is quite thick as well. It's quite durable. This one also also comes in a heap of classic colors. I have this in three colors because I love it so much and I just want more. I, I, I want more of these and you should get them too. The next of my most worn pieces within the tops category is a work centric one and it is the Belleville style top by The Fold, which is a London based brand. Now, if you work in a corporate corporate environment, then chances are you've probably stumbled across The Fold in your travels. And if you haven't heard of them, then you're welcome. The fold pieces are some of my most relied on items, particularly for work. This Belleville top here is a really popular style of theirs. It's one of their signature tops. They have this in 
I don't know, about 10 different colors. And it's a really flattering V-neck drape style belted top that just suits all body shapes. The Fault have really mastered that premium tailoring and they really have mastered that premium workwear space. When I've got important meetings in my very important lawyer days, then I will rely on this top. And it's dressy enough that I don't have to wear a jacket so I don't have to feel so stuffy. The next style that I wanted to share with you is another workwear style from The Fold and it has been one of my most relied on pieces, particularly when I've been working from the office. It is the Knightsbridge blouse, which is another one of their signature style cuts. This one has a subtle draping on the shoulders and it is made of this premium silk. It is such a beautiful style top, really beautifully cut, but really feminine and conservative for the office. I have this style top in two different colors. I have it in the white, which is currently available, but also this pink check, which is from their previous season. With each new season, they always release a new version of the top in a different print or a different fabric. I think for a professional work wardrobe, that's both stylish and fashionable and conservative, the fold is a go-to. The next category is now bottoms and I have a skirt that I want to share with you. It's one that I actually picked up during the height of summer, but it is one that has proven to be so versatile. It is my Anine Bing Bar Silk Satin Skirt. This is just a simple black midi silk skirt with an elasticized waist. I'm sure you've seen this style around before. I'm really glad I invested in a good quality one. This Anine Bing Satin Skirt has been so versatile. I've worn it to work with a blouse, I've worn it on weekends with a t-shirt and sneakers, and it looks great for a smart casual wardrobe too. I think I think that a dark colored midi bias cut skirt is an incredibly versatile piece for your wardrobe. While I didn't think that I would really rely on this much during the colder season, I actually found that it was warm enough when I paired it with a pair of boots as well as a jumper and I was still pretty warm. My next most worn order winter staple are these trousers here from the Frankie shop. This is the B style pant, which I have in three colors. I've had these tailored so that they hit at my ankles. And this is a style that I discovered a couple of years ago and I have just clinged onto it. It has really worked for me. They are an amazing tailored looking pair of trousers. I love wearing them to work, but I also love how they look on weekends with sneakers and with a t-shirt. This style trouser constantly gets released in new colors. I have my eye on the navy color as well as the baby blue version that has just been released. This style of high-waisted trouser is a bit of a no-brainer. It's so easy to style and you put them on and you just feel sophisticated. Moving on to a more casual trouser and this style I've had in my wardrobe for over two years. This is the straight leg crop pant from Everlane and it has proven to be an incredible autumn winter staple for me for yet another year. This style I have here in the shorter length because Bless Everlane for offering trousers in different lengths, which really cater towards us shorter folk. I used to rely on this mainly for my weekend wardrobe, but thanks to the new smart casual dress code that I'm now enjoying in the office, I have been wearing these quite a bit to work as well. Moving on to the next category now, it's probably my favorite category that is hanging on this rack, and that is my coats and jackets. I love my jackets, I love my coats, I have videos dedicated to my coat collection and I will be really sad that I won't be able to wear these now for the next six months until it gets cold again. Aww. The first style that I wanted to share with you is one that perfectly straddles the fashionable but also the functional and it is this oversized long matte coat from Everlane. I have this one in the smallest size available thanks to the oversized cut. And Sydney weather has been really random. It's been really wet and woolly and windy over the past six months. And this has been an incredible piece to just throw over my outfits. It's been great when I've been traveling into the city for the office, also great on the weekends. But I also really love how fashionable it looks as well. It's got this storm flap detail. It's in a really easy to pair neutral color. I think this is the single breasted answer to the trench coat. This is a really simple and minimal single breasted design. And I actually have been preferring wearing this over my trench coats this year, which is a bit of a surprise to me considering I have about four trench coats in my collection, but this is the one that I've been reaching for most. The next jacket that I have to share with you is a blazer and it's one that I featured many times on my blog and my YouTube channel and it is the classic black blazer from The Curated. This one is a deliciously oversized single breasted cut. I had my tailor take the arms up and so it looks like it was made for me. I wear this one to work, I wear this one on weekends with sneakers. I really love how a black blazer can just simply elevate the most basic of your outfits. So it's no surprise that it's been one of my most worn items 
during the autumn winter season. This is a really luxurious black blazer in the scheme of black blazers. I have a dedicated review of this on my YouTube channel as well. But if you haven't watched that video, then this is actually made from a merino wool and it's lined in silk. And so the experience of wearing this is an incredibly luxurious one. And it's one that I rely on a lot because I seek out that luxurious wearing experience. I feel like I deserve it and I feel like you do too. I'm kind of bouncing around between casual and dressy jackets but I have here a style that I've only picked up in the last couple of months and it is the short trench coat from Arquette. I have this one in two different colours. This one also featured in my Arquette review video which I've just posted. I had a whole section dedicated to this style because I really love this. This has become one of my favourite casual jackets to wear and it's an incredibly flattering jacket style particularly if you are petite as well and you want to achieve that oversized chilled vibe. At the risk of repeating myself I think you should just go and watch that Arquette video because a lot of the pieces that feature on this rack also feature in my Arquette transitional favourites. This one I have pretty much relied on every single weekend since I got it and when this one's in the wash I now rely on my black one and when the black one's in the wash and I haven't gotten around to washing this one then I just cry. It's to round out the autumn winter jackets category I've got two coats to share with you. The first one is this totem coat which I also shared in another winter favorites video from earlier this year. This is the Anesty style jacket which is their signature style cut. It's a really drapey wrap style coat but it doesn't actually come with a belt so I like belting it using one of the belts in my existing collection. This one is the ultimate oversized boyfriend style drapey coat and it's incredibly stylish. I love the drape detail on the neckline whenever I've worn it. This is a style that forms part of Totem's permanent line and it continues to be incredibly popular. I have this one in an old season colour but I will link the new season colours for you and I have this one in a size extra small. And the next coat that I wanted to share with you, just to round out this coats and jackets category, is this camel coat here from The Curated. I really love coats from The Curated. They are my favourite brand when it comes to coats. I've got four in their collection because the fabric that they use is just so incredibly luxurious. This camel coat is cut in their old tailored coat style, but the classic camel coat that they have is also cut from this same fabric, and it's more of a boxy cut, whereas this is more of an A-line style cut. I actually want to get the classic style coat very soon, although I can't justify it right now considering we're about to head into the summertime, but I have my eye on a charcoal classic coat or a black classic coat. Now the difference between the two cuts is quite subtle. The tailored coat has more of an A-line cut, whereas the classic style has more of a straight cut. Another thing to note about the fabric of their coats is that it's quite lightweight but it's also got this beautiful draping quality about it and so it's quite fluid and there's a bit of movement when you're walking. I think if you've yet to nab yourself an item from the Curated then the one item that you should seriously consider is one of their camel coats. Moving on to shoes now and I've got three pairs to share with you that I've relied on the most during this autumn winter season. The first it goes without saying and they feature in pretty much every video that I have whenever I do a roundup like this are my Gucci loafers. These things are so versatile and they're incredible for work and play and they're also incredibly comfortable as well. I've got a dedicated video about these and so at the risk of repeating myself I'm just going to link that video and you can watch it if you want to see the various ways that I've enjoyed styling it. The next pair of shoes that I have worn heaps during the cold season are my RM Williams boots. This boot here is the Lady Yearling style and I have these in the brown colour, their signature brown. I have taken these with me on various work trips. I wear these on the weekends. Now aside from my sneakers, these are the only other pair of shoes that I can actually walk to work in because they're so comfortable. They have a block five centimeter heel, but they're incredibly comfortable to wear and I think that they're just gonna get better and better with wear. Now, I bought these almost two years ago now. They're still in incredible condition considering how much I've worn them and how much I've walked in them. People always say about RM Williams boots that they just don't die, similar to Toyota Corollas. I mean, look at that rubber sole. They've still got that indenting detail that is there from when I bought them. Out of all of the winter boots that I have in my collection, these are my absolute favorites. They are my numero uno and it's no surprise that they're my most worn. And to round out my most worn shoes during the autumn winter season, I have a pair here of white sneakers and these are from Nike. These are their Air Max 1s. An incredibly comfortable style. I don't think you can go wrong with a pair of white sneakers. There are so many out there at the moment depending on what you're after and what you're looking for. I just really like how simple and classic these are and they have made many of my casual outfits incredibly stylish while I've been very comfortable at the same time. 
final category that I wanted to share with you are my bags and I have two style bags to share with you. The first one here is this smaller brown leather style bag here from Murta, which is an online marketplace of all things handmade Italian. And this bag has been crafted from a smaller Italian artisan called Boldrini, which is also available on the Murta platform. This bag I've really loved because it's incredibly versatile. I can wear it as a top handle, but I also love how it looks as a crossbody. It's incredibly comfortable, incredibly durable, and I really liked how the color has been a little bit of a contrast compared to the tones that I have in my autumn winter wardrobe and many of the autumn winter favorites. I've managed to get a lot of wear out of this bag and I really love its minimal design. I can see myself also wearing this during the spring summer months, but it has been a really lovely autumn winter addition. And the next style bag that I have, which is currently stuffed with tissue paper because I store it like that, is my Celine Small Carbis Tote. And this bag has been my most worn bag, particularly for work. It is just an incredibly versatile, really easy shape. And I don't see this being confined to just the autumn winter season. I certainly see myself relying on this during the spring summer months as well. But certainly in reflecting on my most worn pieces during the autumn winter season, this bag has come out on top. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, then be sure to hit that thumbs up button so that I know that you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.